Hey, guess what? I broke a Guinness World Record. Congrats, y todo. Man, it goes away real fast, doesn't it? it? Man, I, I can't tell you how excited... <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am. Look at that, most neckties worn at once. It's 287 by Jerry Munoz, Lubbock, Texas. I wonder how much footage I could get from this. But no, like for real, like I'm very excited. Man, it was awesome when I got it in the mail. Uh, the fire engine was actually at my apartment complex and everyone was like standing outside and I was like, what is going on? Because I got home from work because I was working. And then um, I went to go check my post, or not my post office, but like my mail. And then uh, I saw the certificate, not the certificate itself, but actually. So it came in an envelope, right? Not this specific envelope, but there was like a covering over it, like a plastic covering. Guinness yeah, World Record thing, right? right? So it came with this, came with like a little congratulatory letter, and then like where to send all your photos for consideration for the, uh, what you call it, for the book, and then for the any online social media things that they have as well. Uh, yeah, that balloon, I actually knew about three weeks ago. Um, I got the record about a week ago, and then I actually, prior to that, I knew about two weeks from last week. So I, I knew three weeks ago, but I waited two weeks, or I waited until the certificate got here to, um, to like officially announce it, like on social media and like to everyone else. So I had to keep that secret for like two weeks and it was, it was, it was very difficult. Let's just say that. So this balloon, thank you, mama, congrats. And then congratulations, Jeremy, it came, the balloons came with this cookie. So yeah, I've been eating it. Uh, cookies by design, thank y'all, y'all are awesome. Bo, yeah, but thanks mom, thanks dad. Y'all always supported me, y'all always helped me out and everything, y'all never gave up on me. So yeah, and they never doubted me for one second. Yeah, and same goes to my grandparents and the rest of my, most of my family. Uh, a lot of them, they believed in my dreams and all that stuff and I got a Guinness World Record. Then I did a little photo thing outside today. I just took a picture of it with my with my uh, Polaroid. And then, uh, <laughs> so that was today. One of my friends, uh, I was helping her uh, with one of her cameras. And then, uh, what do you call it? I was helping her with, she has a Polaroid. It's one of the like the newest ones. It's like a more updated version. And I should probably put socks on because uh, I'm about to go to the record shop. I haven't been to the record shop yet, and I really want to go, so I figured might as well go. I guess we'll see what we get when we get back. And then, um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, so like she was having trouble like turning it on and making it work, and it turns out the batteries were all facing one direction. You know how they're supposed to be like, you know, like that, like flip flopped, and but it's weird because in that camera the springs are all on one side, so that threw her off. So she was like. Well, and in my head too, I was thinking, yeah, the spring should be flip-flopped as well. I've never seen like a device where they're all facing the same direction, but you still have to put the batteries in the other way. So was, that, that confused me as well. And then she took that picture of me just, uh, just to see if it worked and it did. I mean, this, of course we're inside and like she didn't really adjust the settings. So, so I look kind of bright, but it's okay. 25 or six to four. <laughs> Just in college and I was thinking, well, let's 
Let's go ahead and try for one, so. Munoz then turned to the web, filled out his application, and prepared for his attempt. Uh, the previous record was held by a woman in the UK, which was 270. So I thought, well, maybe I can, I can beat that, because I've been collecting ties. I just like to wear ties. I've been doing it for a couple of years. And I counted, and I thought, oh, yeah, I have more than 270, so I thought, might as well try it. Munoz broke the record with 287 ties, to be exact. I did this at my house before the actual attempt that uh, took place in Lubbock. So I just tied all of them together, and then I put them in a box, and then I took them to the park where I did the attempt at. He says it took him a little under an hour to put all of the ties on. Munoz also went on to say that this is one of many records he has attempted to break. I just go on the website, look for a record with keywords and stuff, apply to that record. If it doesn't exist, uh, you can just create a new record. The record holder says within the next few months he will attempt to break another record by putting 17 four-inch nails in his nose at once. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I can breathe a lot better, and the sinuses don't mess up that much. For KSAN News, I'm Isabel Auburn. Officially amazing. Thanks, Isabel.